In this video I'm going to demonstrate on how to set up and configure Clover system to be able to keep track of the inventory for weighted items such as meat, uh, fish or anything else that needs to be weighted or per unit items rather. First we have to install variable price barcode parser app and this so that we can enable Clover to understand price embedded barcodes that are coming out of your label printing scale such as CAS. Now we already have this app installed and so let us demonstrate you how uh, it, it, it works currently with the app installed. So we're going to grab let's say the device and print a barcode okay so we have a barcode for uh, fresh raw beef patties and um, it has a total weight already right uh, 127 and now let's open the register app on Clover okay and we're going to scan this barcode uh, with the handheld barcode scanner that we have purchased from Clover. So as you can see because of the variable price barcode parser app Clover now understands this price embedded barcode and determines the total weight of pound um, and you know we can basically process this sale. So that's how it works. Now the question is how do we set up uh, inventory control? To do this, um, first let's open the setup. No, let's not set up. Let's open inventory and in the inventory let's go to settings and in the settings let's check both of these boxes. So first one says to keep track of the stock. This will show an additional field uh, in the Clover item uh, form where you can enter the total quantity and the check and check box will automatically decrease stock count. So we're going to save this and now let's open our item, uh, the one that we've played with uh, to, to show you. So here's our fresh raw patties and so let's go ahead and add stock quantity uh, of let's say 100 pounds and also we have to make sure that we enter the same SKU as we have a product code or basically whatever um, other SKU that you wish. but. Two, three, four, five, six. So let's just match the SKU and the product code and save. So again, we have 100 pounds and we say that it's pounds because we actually have a unit of measure set up as pounds and we have a per unit price type and we have a total price. And now we can save this item and let us focus back on our scale here and while we still have something on the scale we're going to print the same barcode again yes. now this is for one pound and uh, 27 ounces right so we're going to go to register and let's go ahead and delete this particular transaction so we can do another one. So here's our register, it's blank. Just focus in a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and scan this barcode. And let's go ahead and complete this transaction so that it actually gets sold, pay cash. So once we have completed the transaction, and if we go back to our inventory, 
and find this item again. It actually takes a little bit of time, but basically if you refresh inventory, you can see that it is now 98.73. So that's how you can keep track of inventory for weighted items using native apps on Clover and variable price barcode parser to enable price embedded barcode reading capabilities. Thank you.